Homes in North Texas, building basements is, is not as easy as people think. That's why most people don't build basements. There's a system in place now where we can actually build a swimming pool in the ground, build a room inside that, and then build a house over the top. We've set all of our form boards, which is the outer perimeter. As we kind of go in closer onto it, you'll see where we've actually marked out where the basement is itself. There's really no size that we can't do. Most, most of the customers right now are doing anywhere from 1,500 to 3,000 square feet. And that's a lot of basement. That's a lot of floor area to be able to do whatever you want with it. We've excavated the hole. We've jackhammered out all the rock and the stone and all that. Uh, we're utilizing the excavation in order to form our actual basement. It's stronger. It's like you're actually 14 foot 10 inches in the ground. It creates a tornado shelter. It's everything that you ever thought a basement would be and you're able to do so much more with it with the way that we've adapted our designs to incorporate the basement. In this case, we've actually formed the walls. We've installed our, our vapor barrier and now we've installed our steel on top of it. Now we're scheduled to start the gunite process or shot creep process and start actually pouring the walls themselves. The way we do it, we actually come down and we round into it. In that rounded process, that's actually creating more structural integrity than what you would in a normal basement where you just pour a seal slab with two walls on top of it. It's really just all around a better product.